What's up YouTube? How the heck is everyone doing today? I hope you're having an amazing day. Whether it's morning, evening, night, you know the routine. I hope you guys are having a good blessed day. Your boy's out here right now enjoying, of course, the Florida rain weather. Still nice out, a little bit muggy, but just outside here chilling in the morning. Gonna be a fun, interesting video today. I know I usually say that with every video, but this video is gonna be pretty fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the last video with the Repticon. I hope you guys like the, the content, some of the things I got to kind of show you guys. I really like seeing some of the animals there. There's some really beautiful, really amazing chameleons and some really cool isopod setups and just all sorts of cool tortoises. Just, you know, basic exotic animals, but at the same time, pretty cool animals that you usually don't get to see on a super daily basis unless you're really around them a lot. But today's going to be a fun video, as you probably saw from the little title of the name or the picture you'll see that of course your boy got another reptile got a new animal today can't tell you right now of course because then that just ruins the surprise of watching and staying of course for the video but your boy got a new lizard or snake or tarantula but it is a reptile so let's see what it might be later on but gotta take care of some animals gonna put some content in there to show you guys uh, feeding turbo actually it's been a hot minute i know since i've had him in a video and very busy he's doing good but gonna get a little bit of feeding with him and then of course typical snakes and joker and then we'll get right into showing you guys the new animal so let's get right into the action all right so giving you guys an update with turbo he's doing pretty good as you can see he's like to be destructive with his enclosure which is completely normal Loves dirty up his water every single time I put it in, which, like, again, completely normal for a monitor lizard, especially one that's semi-aquatic. So, his enclosure is relatively a little bit dirty. Can't lie. It's it's kind of dirty. It's, I've been very, very busy, so I haven't gotten a chance to do a deep clean. I did do a deep clean relatively recently, about maybe a week ago, maybe a little bit more. Um, not too too long ago, which I can tell because the glass isn't ridiculously dirty in the inside But I'm not gonna worry about doing too too much of a deep clean because I am moving his enclosure pretty soon uh, To the reptile room to the different house new house So I'm not really worried about doing a deep clean when I'm gonna just gut everything out of here fully wipe it down and Get right into basically giving him upgrades I'm gonna give him a bath though because he was soaking in his water dish this morning so he made it all dirty and gross like usual, nothing new. So I want to give him a little bit of a soap and some nice, fresh, clean water just for some enrichment while I'm able to clean his enclosure. And then we'll get right into feeding him some rodents. All right, let's see if he'll actually gum up for me with one hand. Usually he's a little bit of a destructor. Just come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, it's water. It's nice water. Nice and warm. This water's super warm, so... He's going to love it, and it's nice and deep, which is going to help him with his shed. So what we'll do is have him soak in there for about 15, 20 minutes. He's been in his water dish since last night, so he's in there. He literally slept in his water dish. He had his head up on the ledge and just slept in there. So he was definitely dehydrated. So I'm just giving him this as an extra soak. Super warm water. It's not burning hot to where it's hurting him, but it's warm to where it's going to make him nice and energetic it won't make him lethargic or anything so I'll just give him a little bit of about 15 minutes so nothing too long since like again he's been in there for a pretty long time and then clean this madness and i'll get right into the magic of all of a sudden super clean and the snap of my fingers voila magically his enclosure is clean I didn't really go, like I said, into it with deep cleaning, but moved some stuff around. Got him some nice, fresh, this is proof, got him some nice, fresh water valve. Last for like two seconds. Evan had just fixed his hammock and his branch, moved it up. This won't be a permanent enclosure for him. It's a really nice, big size enclosure. I love it. I like how long and high up it is. It's probably about two and a half, three, I would say three feet high, and then maybe maybe like four feet uh or sorry maybe like four feet high and then like two and a half three feet long but the only problem is that it's not like too wide which i feel like kind of encloses him in a little bit so i'm kind of looking at enclosures that are the same like length and height but just 
a lot wider so that he kind of has that more wide span range to roam around and kind of burrow and do whatever the heck he wants to do but it'd be pretty cool because then i can take this enclosure and i'd love to turn this into some sort of bioactive enclosure for like amazon tree boas or emerald tree boas just like imagine man this huge enclosure turned into a boreal setup for emerald tree bows. I mean, that, that'd that be cool. Think about it. Longest things for any non-venomous snake species has a nice little terrarium set up. I think it'd be cool. But it's been 15 minutes. Your boy has been in here. As you can see, he's getting a nice good bath in there. I'm about to get him some of his rodents. I'm going to go get those right now and we'll be off into the fun part of feeding the raptor. Okie doke. Now we got the rodents ready for him. Just giving him these two little fuzzy mice, frozen fuzzy mice, really nothing much. Just kind of like a little filler snack for him for the day. I'll show you guys how cute it is when he's taking a bath when he swims. Just look how adorable he is. He's so pretty. Absolutely love him, man. You should see, like, once his body's fully soaked and he has all that dirt off, and then you put him right under that basking spot, those spots that you see just become a bright, I'm talking bright, vibrant gold color. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it, you know. Really, just absolutely amazing animal. Let's see if I can take him out here, actually. Really? All right, hold on. I'm going to get back to this here in the part two in a second. I'm going to just have to use two hands with this. Okay, now we got the dinosaur of terror out. Give him his rodents. Those are my toes. Ooh. Oh, yeah, he's hungry today. He's hungry, folks. Will he run for his food? Come on. Come on. Oh. Come on. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. It's so good. Oh, he's chasing. Oh, he's chasing. Oh, my God. See this before? Training the lizard how to run. Playing fetch with lizard. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he drifting. He drifting. He drifting. Jumps. Oh, and he scores. Oh, look at that. Oh, he loved that. He loves the food. Then walk over here. Grab him his other rodent. Yes, I am feeding him in the living room. Because why not? Oh, he's opening up his mouth. It's wide. He's ferocious. He's ferocious. He's a ferocious one. Oh my god, I'm going dizzy doing this. Ooh, he jumped. Let's see if I can get him to hold. Alright, turbo up. Nope. Oh, dang it. You just jumped, grabbed the food. Oh, yum. Was that tasty, my good sir? Was that super tasty? Absolutely love feeding him. He's such an amazing animal to feed. Monitor lizards in general are so cool. Because like I tell people, like I, I, I know I always say this. Like every single time I say this with them. But monitor lizards are like this century's version of raptors. So I kind of have to catch my breath as I run. Boy's kind of out of shape on his cardio right now. But they're so fun to feed. Monitor lizards are so fun because their athleticism is so high up there that you can get them to basically chase anything. Like I said, look at those beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors. Look at that. Let's see if I can zoom in. Look at that. And he drops. See? Just that beautiful spotted pattern. Going all the way down his tail. Absolutely love it. I love this guy so, so much. So now we got that done. Your boy has to pick up, go dump this water out, and then we'll be off to the next animal. So I know I was gonna go into next clip of feeding, you know, Arbok and the baby snakes and Joker. And I said earlier in the video, we're gonna be feeding them, but I had to end up last minute do some things. I needed to help my parents out with some stuff and it just became a point where it got later in the day and I just fed them off camera. So even though I didn't film it, I'm what I'm gonna do is just go right into showing you guys the new animal so that I'm able to at least push some sort of video out for you guys. Like again, I'm trying to grind for some more content, try to just keep posting as consistent as I possibly can. 
So this is kind of the next day. It's, you know, the day after I filmed the first part of Lift Turbo and that I just like, again, ended up feeding the baby snakes off camera. I got too busy with everything. It just became a little bit hectic, but let's get right into showing you guys the new child into the collection. So now off to, of course, what you guys have been wanting to see, the new animal. Now I want you guys to comment down below what animal you thought it was, or if it was a lizard or a snake or what you think it is. But on to show you the newest collection or newest animal to our collection. Ta-da! <laughs> this guy here is Pickle. He is a baby, well, more kind of juvenile, but he is a blue tongue skink, an Indonesian blue tongue skink to be exact. Now with blue tongue skinks, they got the name. You may be wondering, oh, they got the name because the uh, blue tongue they have. Wrong. I'm just kidding. It's completely correct. They got the name blue tongue skink because yes, they do have a blue tongue. Now the reason why they have a blue tongue is actually a defense mechanism. And so over the years, they've adapted to having this blue tongue to trick predators into thinking they're poisonous, even though they're not at all. So when they feel threatened, they'll fly in their stomach out a little bit make a huge pancake just like a bearded dragon and they'll flicker this blue tongue a lot and what the blue tongue does is basically with like poison dart frogs or other true poisonous animals they have those bright vibrant colors of a warning sign saying hey back off of me you don't want to mess with me you know you're going to regret it so these guys ended up learning that they can trick predators into thinking they're poisonous even though they're not just by simple adaptation of color for their tongue. Now, if you look closely enough, when he flickers his tongue, it is blue, but when they are a lot more defensive and kind of on the edgy side of things and it's kind of nervous or scared, not knowing what's going on, that blue will actually become a lot more vibrant. It'll be a lot brighter. It'll be a lot more easier to tell the difference and definitely say, yeah, that's blue. And so what's really cool is that there's different types or regional uh, localities of blue tongue skinks. So there's the Australian blue tongue skink, which is your typical common ones most people see. Your Indonesian blue tongue skink, native to, of course, Indonesia, um, different areas of Asia in general, and then other skinks such as your northern blue tongue skink and all sorts. But super, super pretty. I got this guy from my work, and so he's very, very sweet. You know, these guys can be very pricey. They can be like $200, $300 at least. I've seen some that are full grown, massive, that are like $600. You know, I got this guy for 50 bucks. You know, I got a huge, huge deal on him. Had to take him home because why not, man? These guys are awesome. I've worked with them for two years and they're just amazing. They're super sweet pets. For people watching, if you want a reptile, great reptile to have other than a bearded dragon or a leopard gecko you want to go something a little bit cooler a little bit more unique looking blue tongue skinks are your way to go man they have a lot of a lot of personality super sweet just a little bit pricier now you may be wondering why they have that elongated body where it kind of looks like a snake with legs now this species of lizard is super 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 terrestrial i'm talking they burrow burrow under the ground where their body's fully submerged so that elongated body helps with flexibility so that they're able to have a lot more of a basically speed for when they're burrowing and they're able to have a lot more movement and move around a lot easier and a lot more efficiently for if there's predators around and they need to leave or just trying to burrow for warmth or for hiding. But yeah, newest guy to the collection. Yes, his name is Pickle. I want to keep it that way in the fact because I think it kind of is just a funny, cute name for him. But a little bit of a goofy name, but why not? Who doesn't like a little bit of goofiness in life, right? It's what keeps life exciting. All right, guys, that's going to conclude the rest of today's video. I hope you enjoy it. I'm excited to have Pickle in the collection. He's a super cool, very sweet animal. Blue tongue skinks in general are just really cool animals. I absolutely love them. Like, again, being around them and working with them for like two plus years, it's just, they're awesome. It, it's like a little kind of special thing in my heart because they're super sweet. They're very nice. It's, it's just like a bearded dragon. 
But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please drop a like. Subscribe if you haven't turned on those notifications bell so you guys can stay tuned and see some cool update videos. I'm excited for this next upcoming video because it's going to be cool. I know I say this with every video, of course, but I'm, I'm praying, man. The, the reptile room is just about done. We're on that very tip edge, and I just got done ordering some upgraded enclosures so the animals get some new upgrades, some nice, big, good size enclosures that can stack on top of each other, but I'm excited. Next video is going to be awesome because I'm, I'm really going to enjoy it. It's going to be really cool. I'm really excited to share this with you guys because it's, I, it's one step closer to my goal in life, you know. I've been wanting a reptile room for a very long time, so me being able to finally have one and being blessed enough to not just be given one, but also to be able to be a part of building it, creating it, designing it the way I image it, the way I wanted to get it set up, the way I want it to be, how I want it to look. So it's going to be awesome. I'm really excited for it, but I thank you guys for watching. Drop a comment if you're watching this video of what you think of the new animal. If you like the name Pickle, either way, we got to keep it because I already promised a friend that I would keep the name. But what you think of the new animal, let me know what animal you thought it was at the beginning. But I thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Go out and do what you love in life because that's the only way to live life. But thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing day and see you on the next one.